Hey guys, CB Tech here, and today I'm going to show you how to use the new structure blocks in Minecraft to copy and paste different structures in your world. So there are four different types of structure blocks, the data block, the save block, the load block, and the corner block. For this video, I'm not going to show you how to use the data block because I'm not exactly sure how it works or what it does. Um, so when you get a block, you can just, uh, well, first of all, you can give yourself the block by using the command slash give your player name, Minecraft uh, structure block, and there's also structure void, which I will show you how to use in a second. Um, and then you can go into the block and then cycle through these different modes, uh, save, load, corner, um, and that's that's how you change it to the different type of block, which will also change the, the texture on the outside. So we're just going to put this back to save. So we need to save a structure if we want to copy and paste it. Um, so we're going to put the save block right next to this structure here. doesn't have to be right next, but that's what I'm going to do. <clears throat> Let's go into the block and go into save mode. We're going to name the structure, which is very important because it's how we're going to load it in later. So I'm going to name it shed. Um, and I have it set up so that um, positive X is in that direction and positive Z is in that direction. So we want to select one of the corners of this block. So we're going to do one. So it's one in the X direction away from this the, the save block. Zero in the Y axis. It's the same level. Uh, and in the Z direction is one. <clears throat> Let me put the structure size in. This structure is four blocks by, oops, four blocks long, three blocks tall, and three blocks wide. You can see here now that after I hit done, it puts a bounding box around the structure. And uh, you can see that it's correct. It's exactly where we want it to be because we put the right numbers in. See if I, uh, if I make this one too high, the structure size, if it's four, you can see that it goes up higher, so it's going to copy the air blocks above that, which we don't want. We just want to copy the structure itself. So we're going to put that down to three. Um, <clears throat> you can either hit, uh, yeah, so I hit done. It shows the bounding box, and it's correct. So now we're just going to hit save. Um, and now we have it saved, and we can use the load block to uh, put it anywhere we want in our world. So we hit uh, mode here, load, type in the same name that you used in the save block, so that'd be shed. We're going to put it one away from us in that direction. So one away in the X, zero, the same height in the Y, and it's going to be one away in the Z. So now we just uh, we want to leave that on, otherwise the bounding box won't show up. So we hit uh, load once. It shows us exactly where it's going to place it with this bounding box, which is pretty helpful. It's exactly where, exactly where we want it. And you can see here that that 101 is that bottom corner. So um, if I did 201, hit done, it would move it over. So I pressed load the first time. It showed me the bounding box. And I could change these uh, parameters if, if it's not where, how I want it. And then just hit done, it updates it again. But if I want to uh, actually load it in, and you go back in and... Um, hit load a second time. So now you can see that it is loaded. It's exactly the same as that one. And uh, yeah, so that's how to use the load block. And I'll show you this, these things down here in a second. Um, so there's another way to save a structure. It's much quicker and easier for large, larger structures, um, like this house here. So I have this uh, corner block. I need to set it into corner mode. And, and this is how you're going to do this. Uh, you got to give the structure a name. So I'm going to name it house. If I could type. There we go. Uh, I'm going to hit done. And then I'm going to go over to this corner, which I've already placed one. This is the top corner of the house. You can see that it's this corner right here, and it's right above that. So this is the top corner of the structure. I've already put house in there. And then you need a save block. So we're going to use save, uh, put it back to save mode, put house in so that it looks at those corner blocks. And that's what this detect button does. You hit detect, and it detects these corner blocks and sets the bounding box automatically and loads everything to, uh, loads all these options right here in exactly where these corner blocks are. So that's way simpler than putting them in manually, especially for larger structures. 
So now that we have that bounding box, we can adjust a few other settings. Um, so there's also one other thing here. We've got include entities. Um, and this will include any, like, well, it says entities. If we, It'll include an entity if you turn this on. So, I, like, for example, I've got a dog in here. Uh, if I turned include entities off, it will not save the dog when it loads the house or when I copy it over to some other place. But uh, since I have it on, it will now copy the dog um, as I load it into different areas. So I will show you that in a second once I load it. But uh, then we also have this thing here, show invisible blocks. We're going to turn that on. And you can see here we have all these uh, blue boxes, and these represent air blocks. So right now the save, um, the way it's going to save, it's going to save all these air blocks, and when it loads it, it's going to place air blocks also. So if you place it into uh, the ground, it will replace these with air. So there will actually be this space around the house, because uh, that's what it's copying. So when you use this structure void, you can right-click, to place these on this, you have to place it like a normal block. You place these and it turns red. So now, if I paste this into the world, uh, if I'm losing the load block, it will no longer um, put air here. It will just leave it alone. It's like it's like copying nothing. So that's why it's called the structure void. So that when I paste it, it will just leave the block there um, whenever I put it in. So I'll show you that in a second. So those just those couple there are... Uh, have structure void on them. The rest of them are normal with the air. So now that we have all that set up, we can hit save and it is saved as house. So now let's uh, let's go over here. Back here. My mouse is doing some weird things here. There we go. Load. We're going to type in house. Relative position. I'm going to do one away this way. I'm going to do negative three so that it goes in the ground so I can show you the how the structure void works. And then one. So we hit, uh, and also structural structure integrity and seed. I'm not exactly sure how that works. Um, it didn't seem to change much. I didn't mess around with it, but we'll just uh, skip that for now. Um, and we hit done. Or sorry, not done. We hit load. It shows us where the bounding box is. This is where the top of the roof is going to be. So that's good. I'm gonna hit load again. Brings it in, and you can see that uh, if I go down here. Let's dig out some of this so I can see where the door is. And you can see how these blocks here, like there's air around the house, so it, it copied them. And over here where I clicked in structure void, it, it didn't uh, copy the air. So you can see those couple of blocks right there that I cop or changed to void. It just kept the, the blocks in the ground. So that's, that's kind of helpful if you want to do certain things with that. But uh, anyways, if you look in here, that my uh, dog apparently is not in here. Maybe it's still buggy because I guess it doesn't work too well because uh, I think I had save entities on. Yeah, I don't know why I didn't save the entities. It should have. Um, maybe maybe I uh, moved, put it too close to the wall or something. But anyways, that should have copied the dog and the dog should be here. Maybe it's because it's a tame dog. I don't know exactly what, why that didn't work, but you can also see I have some stuff in chests that it copied from the other house. So it copies that exactly like it is. Um, so these other things here, uh, these things down here, let me place another load block so that I can do that. Let's place it down. Come on, mouse, work. There we go. Load. I'm going to type in house. Uh, let's see. So we've got the these numbers here. Uh, this can rotate the structure that you're trying to place. So this will rotate it 90 degrees, 180, and 270 degrees. This button here will mirror it left or right or from front to back. So we're going to rotate it 90 degrees and place it. Uh, let's do, well, let's hit load, see where the box is. Um, that's floating a bit. So I think I'm going to move it, uh, let's see, negative x a couple. Let's do just negative 2 and make sure this is 0 so it's on the ground. Uh, I'm going to hit done. Yes, that looks good. Okay, and hit load again. There we go. So you can see that it rotated the house 90 degrees. The door is on this side. And I'm going to place it again, except I'm going to use mirror from front to back, just so we can see how that works. Uh, let's go instead of negative 2, let's go like 8 Let's see where the box goes. Sure, that's good enough. Um, let's load it in. And you can see that it flipped it. Uh, it mirrored it 
from front to back. So now that we have the door on this side instead of this side. Um, <clears throat> and just rotating it will actually, uh, the door would be on this side if I just rotated it around instead of mirroring it. So um, I believe uh, also the max size for copying a structure is 32 by 32 by 32, which is two chunks um, wide, long, and high. So um, yeah, so that's pretty much how you use the structure blocks in Minecraft. Hopefully you found this helpful and um, could, can use this in your own world. And uh, yeah, so uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more videos. And I will see you in another video.